This is our humble home, Ketelpa, and today's backyard is the beautiful Komodo Islands in Indonesia. I have set my sails on fire. The Komodo Islands are famous for being the home to the biggest lizard roaming this earth, the Komodo dragon and for having arguably some of the best dive sites in the world. These popular islands are busy with tourists most of the year, but finding a spot all to yourself isn't that difficult. We were totally stoked to hang here for a few days and check out the beautiful underwater world that is alive with an abundance of fish, turtles and beautiful manta rays. And watch my vessel sink Cause I've seen the shores of every tide But I still wish I was in your sea I have buried my wandering heart Deep into the earth Cause when we were mountain tops apart Oh how I long for your valley Unfortunately, when I was filming this deer on the shore, I noticed something disturbing, but not uncommon here in Indonesia. Oh my god. That's disgusting. The shoreline was chockers with plastic, and not only new plastic, but plastics that had been there for a very, very long time. This beautiful place, and this is what's on the shoreline. The microplastics that were built up on these shores is the worst I've ever seen. The amount of plastic that has accumulated here is a reflection of us as humans and how we are trashing our planet. So we wanted to share to inspire you to be conscious with your plastics. Say no to plastic bags, plastic bottles, reuse the plastics that you already have and be aware of where your rubbish goes. Because reality is, it's not just a problem in Indonesia, it's a problem of the world. Seeing this amount of plastic on the shores made me feel hopeless. I wanted to pick it all up. But then, what? Fill our small home and take it where? So in the hope that someone out there can share this video with someone that has the resources to help, maybe this beach and other beaches don't need to be left this way. Don't get me wrong, we're not perfect and it's super hard, right? Everything comes in plastic, especially here in Indonesia, but it all counts. So saying no to bags, having reusable drink bottles and being aware of where your rubbish goes will make a massive difference. We try our best because our life is on the ocean and seeing the plastic constantly floating by our home is a not so subtle reminder that the oceans need our help. This place is beautiful, and yes, we could have just ignored this and showed its prettiness, but bringing awareness to this world problem might just make a difference. There are so many amazing people making a difference out there. To you guys, we thank you. What an inspiration you are. Let's help to say no to single-use plastics and become an absolute legend. The fish, turtles, dolphins, whales, and sharks and all the ocean creatures will be eternally grateful. Guys, I just wanted to say a quick thank you for watching that video. Some of it was a bit yucky, we know, um, but that's reality on what we see on the beaches and on our travels, unfortunately. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a few tips. Reduce your plastic waste in your home or if you're sailing like we are on a boat. So a few things that we do is we always have our reusable drink bottles with us instead of buying, um, buying 
plastic bottles for water. Um, always remember just to pop a few of these in your bag and you won't have to buy any plastic bottles. Also, another thing to pop in your bag is some reusable bags. They, you can get some that are really quite small so you can put it in your handbag, your backpack, wherever and keep them there so you've always got them handy for those last minute shopping trips. Another really cool product that I have is um, beeswax wraps. Beeswax wraps. <laughs> So you can wrap all your food in them. All they are is a piece of material with beeswax over the top. And I'm pretty sure they're really easy to make. I didn't make these, uh, but if I find a link of how to make, or um, I will pop that down below so that you can work that out. They are really, really good. And I've had these for over a year and they've lasted and they're, um, yeah, you can wash them and everything. The thing is straws, you can get bamboo or stainless steel straws and you can pop them in your bag and take them. Or if you don't want to have a straw, just say no to plastic straws and eliminate that drama. Um, that's really cool. Something really exciting is we are looking at getting our own merchandise. So we are going to soon have Sailing Catalpa water bottles and Sailing Catalpa uh, products plastic free products so that we are looking into that now so keep an eye out on our website and they should be there soon. I hope this information was helpful, I hope this video was insightful, um, it is the sad reality that is there we just wanted to really inspire people to stop using as much plastic as possible and it, if we all work together we can make a difference and I just want to thank you for sharing this video uh, with anyone that may be doing um, projects to help clean up. We'd love to get the beach on Komodo Island clean. If possible, if you know someone doing a really cool project or know someone with the resources, uh, please pass this video on. If you have any advice or tips for everybody on how to reduce plastics please write them down in the comments below if you have anything negative to say please keep the negative comments to yourself and down below just keep the good vibes coming um, we hope you have a beautiful day thank you so much for watching i'm sarah from sailing catalpa peace a special thank you to all our patrons Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. It all comes all thanks to you all.